Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the AWS Storage Gateway. AWS Storage Gateway is a hybrid cloud storage service that gives you on-premises infrastructure access to virtually unlimited cloud storage on AWS. You can use Storage Gateway to simplify storage management and reduce costs for hybrid cloud storage use cases, such as moving backups to the cloud, using on-premises file shares backed by cloud storage, and providing low latency access to data in AWS for on-premises applications. Storage Gateway seamlessly connects on-premises applications to AWS cloud storage, caching data locally for low latency access. Here's how Storage Gateway works. Suppose you have an application running on-premises. You can enable the on-premises application to leverage AWS cloud storage for low latency data access. First, you can create the gateway on-premises, by deploying gateway software appliance or hardware appliance in the on-premises data center. The software appliance is a virtual machine image you can download and install on an on-premises host. Storage Gateway supports VMware ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, and Linux kernel-based virtual machine or KVM as software appliance. After installing the VM, you can activate and connect to the gateway service endpoint. There are three endpoint options, public endpoint, VPC endpoint, or FIPS endpoint. You can activate your gateway using a public endpoint and have your gateway communicate with AWS storage services over the public internet. Or you can activate your gateway using a VPC endpoint, which is private. If you use a VPC endpoint, all communication from your gateway to AWS services occurs through the VPC endpoint in your VPC on AWS. FIPS stands for Federal Information Processing Standards. You can use FIPS endpoint if you need the FIPS compliant communication. The on-premises application servers connect to the storage gateway through the VM or gateway hardware appliance, using standard storage protocols, such as NFS, SMB, and iSCSI. Storage gateway connects to the gateway service endpoint, over the internet or direct connect link. Through the gateway service endpoint, storage gateway connects to the AWS cloud storage, such as Amazon S3, Glacier, Glacier Deep Archive, Amazon EBS, and AWS Backup providing storage for files, volumes, snapshots, and virtual tapes on AWS. Storage Gateway offers three different types of gateways, their file gateway, tape gateway, and volume gateway. You can use file gateway to store on-premises file data, such as media content and backups, as objects in Amazon S3. You can use volume gateway to backup local block volumes as Amazon EBS snapshots, and store them in Amazon S3. Volume Gateway comes in two types of volume architectures, cached volumes and stored volumes. Cached Volumes Gateway stores all on-premises application data in S3, and retains recently accessed data locally. Stored Volumes Gateway stores the primary data locally, while asynchronously backs up that data as EBS snapshots to S3. If you have an existing tape system, you can use Tape Gateway to leverage existing tape applications and workflows, and back up virtual tapes in S3. File Gateway presents a file interface using NFS and SMB file protocols. With File Gateway, you can store files as objects in S3. Customers use File Gateway to migrate on-premises file data to S3, while maintaining fast local access to recently accessed data. You can access these files via NFS and SMB from the data center, or access them as objects directly in S3. File Gateway gives ability to backup on-premises file data as objects in S3, and leverage S3 features, such as lifecycle management and S3 replication. For hybrid cloud workflows, File Gateway enables easy access of data generated by on-premises applications, for processing by AWS services, such as machine learning or big data analytics. Volume Gateway presents the application's block volumes using iSCSI protocol. Data written to these volumes can be asynchronously backed up as point-in-time volume snapshots, and stored in S3 as EBS snapshots. These snapshots are incremental backups that capture only changed blocks. The snapshot storage is also compressed to minimize the storage charges. You can back up the on-premises volumes using the service's native snapshot scheduler, or using the AWS backup service. Customers often choose Volume Gateway to backup local applications, and use it for disaster recovery based on EBS snapshots. Volume Gateway comes in two types of volume architectures, cached volumes and stored volumes. With cached volumes, Gateway stores all on-premises application data in S3 as the primary data storage, 
and caches recently accessed data locally in the on-premises storage gateways cache and upload buffer storage. Cached volumes offer a substantial cost savings on primary storage and minimize the need to scale your storage on-premises. You also retain the low latency access to your frequently accessed data. With stored volumes, Gateway stores the entire data locally as primary storage, while it synchronously backs up that data as EBS snapshots to S3. Stored volumes provide your on-premises applications with low latency access to their entire datasets. At the same time, they provide durable off-site backups. You can restore an EBS snapshot to an on-premises gateway storage volume, if you need to recover a backup of your data. You can also use the snapshot as a starting point for a new EBS volume, which you can then attach to an Amazon EC2 instance. If a cached volume keeps the primary data in Amazon S3, you should avoid processes that read or write all data on the entire volume, such as virus scanning software that scans the entire cached volume. It can cause all data stored in S3 to be downloaded locally. Instead of a full disk scan, you can use real-time virus scanning on data read from or written to the cached volume. All cached volume data and snapshot data are stored in S3 and is encrypted at rest using server-side encryption. However, you can't access these data using the S3 API or S3 Management Console. Using AWS Backup with Volume Gateway together helps you centralize backup management, reduce your operational burden, and meet compliance requirements. Tape Gateway stores your virtual tapes in service-managed S3 buckets, and creates new virtual tapes automatically, simplifying management and transition to the cloud for storage. Tape Gateway presents a virtual tape library or VTL, consisting of virtual tape drives and a virtual media changer, to your backup application using iSCSI protocol. You can continue to use your existing tape-based backup applications and workflows, while writing data to a nearly limitless collection of virtual tapes, with each virtual tape stored in Amazon S3. When you no longer need frequent access to data in a virtual tape, you can have the backup application move it from the storage gateway VTL into an archive tier, which sits on top of S3 Glacier or Glacier Deep Archive. In this episode, we've learned AWS Storage Gateway. Storage Gateway is a hybrid cloud storage service that gives your on-premises infrastructure access to AWS cloud storage. It offers three types of gateways including File Gateway, Tape Gateway, and Volume Gateway. File Gateway presents a file interface using NFS and SMB file protocols. You can use File Gateway to store on-premises file data as objects in Amazon S3. Volume Gateway presents the application's block volumes using iSCSI protocol. You can use Volume Gateway to back up local block volumes as Amazon EBS snapshots, and store them in Amazon S3. It comes in two options, cached volumes and stored volumes. Cached Volumes Gateway stores all on-premises application data in S3, and retains recently accessed data locally. Stored Volumes Gateway stores the primary data locally, while asynchronously backs up that data as EBS snapshots to S3. Tape Gateway presents a virtual tape library or VTL, consisting of virtual tape drives and a virtual media changer, to your backup application using iSCSI protocol. If you have an existing tape system, you can use Tape Gateway to leverage existing tape applications and workflows, and backup virtual tapes in S3. Okay, that's all for AWS Storage Gateway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!